Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caro and I'm at the Funky Loft. I've been plant sitting from my friend Marcella for all the month. And tonight, while I'm in this beautiful space, I want to share with you my current nighttime routine. If you've seen my channel before or if you know me, you know that I am pretty big on rituals, on routines and on thinking a lot and giving myself a lot of space in order to reconnect with myself, with my body, come back to my natural rhythms, in order to be able to act from that like energized, empowered, true self-loving space. And from my perspective, the world is really crazy right now. And I was recently listening to Krishna Das, who is this amazing Kirtan singer and musician. He said something along the lines of whenever the world seems to be falling apart, the most important thing that we can do is not fall apart ourselves. And for me, that just really resonated and has really been like in my mind ever since. This was like three or four weeks ago. And I've just been thinking a lot about how am I taking care of myself, of my energy, of my body, of my mind, of my thoughts in order not to fall apart because in my personal experience it can become pretty easy for us to go into this like spiraling thinking about what's going on in the world and the news and is this the end of the world or just however this moment in time is making us feel I believe that the most important thing is not to fall apart ourselves and that's one of the main reasons why I really wanted to share this video with all of you because this video is not about me trying to sell you any products or me trying to say that my routine is perfect. This is more than anything an invitation for you to start listening or reconnect with listening to your own body. This is by no means the routine that I'm able to keep every single night. I am still working in trying to make this a everyday habit because there are nights where I am still like fucking up and I am still like not paying attention to what I really want and I really need to do. So yeah, this is just an invitation for us to get ready to go to bed together. This is an invitation for us to spend the next few minutes just unwinding, breathing, reconnecting with ourselves and I really hope you enjoy it. I really want to thank you for spending your time with me, your thoughts, your energy with me. I love the community that we are building on this channel. I love reading to all of your comments and all the inspiration that you are sharing with me as well. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for your constant support and yeah, I, I just invite you to keep that in mind. Whenever the world seems to be falling apart, the most important thing is not to fall apart ourselves. This routine really helps me be able to feel there's a purpose and that what we are all doing really makes a difference. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I usually do most of my movement in the morning. I either do a yoga routine or a workout routine as soon as I wake up, so I am not the kind to stretch at night. Usually I'm just very tired at night and I don't feel that like energy to start working out, but rather I really love soothing down my night. One of the main things that is pretty important for me is turning my phone off at night. So yeah, I really try to turn off my phone at 8 p.m. I usually go to bed around 9 or 10. 10 seems a little late sometimes. So my phone off is really a game changer and so is drinking some sort of herbal tea. Recently I've been feeling really drawn to this tea by Anima Mundi, which is a dream tea. It's this amazing lucid dreaming tea with one of my favorite plant allies out there, which is Blue Lotus. And yeah, there's blue lotus, school cup, passion flower, rose, some stevia, and all these beautiful herbs that I really like. I love having like a night 
ceremony with myself. I feel it's like my me time and I feel pretty grateful that my partner really respects how I love to have these like moments at night to just wind down and reconnect with myself. So let's get some tea ready. So while my tea is steeping, I will take a shower. I'm very into showering or bathing at night. I love how different going to bed feels when you took a shower or when you just step into bed. I feel like taking a shower before bed or drinking this lucid dreaming tea before bed is really like a game changer for how profound my sleeping time feels. And you know, you don't have to have this herbal tea with any herbal tea that you have been working with or feel connected to, maybe like chamomile or any other herb that is soothing and is really like inviting of that calmness feeling. Um, and if you don't have any herbal teas, ginger or literally just some hot water before bed and having that moment with yourself is such a game changer. So let's go take a shower. And for showering, as some of you may know from my hair care routine video, I use both my shampoo and conditioner bars. And before showering, I take off my makeup if I'm wearing anything. Today I'm wearing mascara. I remove my makeup with these reusable cotton swabs, which are amazing. Before I got these, I would just literally use toilet paper. Um, I don't know if that's good for you, I'm just sharing what I use. And I would just add either coconut oil or olive oil if I have any. I know some people are allergic to those, I'm not, so that's what I use. And then just remove my makeup with that. I really like to, if I am able to take the time when I am showering, just like turn off the water and really like massage my scalp and massage my body. And if I have like any Epsom salts, and I don't have enough time to take a bath. I would just like use them as a scrub while I'm showering and it really makes a difference to be able not only to like shower and get it over with, but like feel that I'm massaging my body and my muscles while I'm showering. It really feels like a game changer for me. So I'll see you in a bit. So as I was sharing with you, I'm staying at the Funky Loft, which is my friend's, my friend Marcella's home. She's out of town, so I'm plant sitting, and this is the first time that I ever get to use a vanity. I don't own a, own one, and it just feels so cozy. Um, yeah, after showering, I use my hair oil by Meraki Nomad. It's the, it is these rosemary, nettle, and other medicinal plants um, hair medicine, which is great for the tips of my hair. Mm. And as I shared with you, whenever I brush my hair, I really love taking my time instead of just rushing it. And while we're on the topic of vanity, I think it's so interesting how sometimes vanity is associated with this like superficial bad thing to focus on and I feel that is not the way that I see it. I 
Yes, I feel that the spiritual aspect of our lives and feeling connected to nature and to the universe and understanding that, that we are much more than our bodies is definitely so important and pretty much for me the main reason of existence. But at the same time, we have these human bodies and we have this like flesh and 3D skin, which is our biggest organ. and. Just being able to take care of it and caress it and think it and and be thankful for the body that we have and the hair that we can grow and things that sometimes we even take for granted. I mean, not all of us have hands, not all of us have arms and that is really a miracle. It's a, an amazing thing that we are able to have and maybe some of you don't have all the body parts that I do. and. That is also beautiful. It's, also, it's so beautiful to be thankful for the body that we have and the opportunities that this body gives us. If I would only be a spiritual being, I wouldn't be able to paint because I wouldn't have a physical body and hands or feet or whatever it is that permit me to be able to paint and manifest the things that I want to manifest in reality. So. So yeah, I'm just thinking about that lately and how do we take care of this body that transports us everywhere and that is us. If we love it, if we nourish it with wholesome foods and wholesome love and caress it, our body really becomes thankful and I've been reading, well not reading, I've been listening to these book called Braiding Sweetgrass, which is really awakening so many things in me. And it's it's been so inspiring just to see what the author has to share about her relationship with plants and the natural world, and also with her own body. On the topic of the body and the beauty, I, I've also been thinking a lot about if I would spend less time comparing my flesh to other people's flesh or to what I see on Instagram which I don't even know if it's their true body or if it's just Photoshop um, and all that time that I spend just comparing myself if all of us would just spend that time caressing and taking care of our bodies what a game changer that would be right What I also love about showering before going to bed is that of course I cannot go to bed with my wet hair so that is really another excuse to read something or do something before bed while my hair dries and I love using that time as my me time and I apply some oil to my face at night as well. I've been using also this oil by Meraki Nomad, um, it's called Oil of the Sisters and I'm pretty sure it has rose hip or it smells like roses and, and I have very dry skin so I'm pretty big on applying oils and moisturizing my skin. I just apply these to my face at night. And besides feeling so good. I can really see the difference in the morning. Before using hers, I would use this chamomile gel by Meow Meow Tweet. And for my morning oil, I actually started doing my own. I used to use Living Libations, but it comes all the way from Canada. And I decided to try doing my own with sea buckthorn, jojoba oil, and a little grapefruit. Um, oil as well and wow I I love waking up to that smell so usually at night I just apply the oil I don't do like any Ayurvedic massages like I do in the morning but the smell of all these plants is just so so good So at night, I usually like to read a book, especially something inspiring, 
lately I've been reading At Home um, Entangled Life by Merlin Sheldrake, which is a book that shares not only about fungi but also about our relationship to fungi and our relationship to mother nature in general and while I'm staying at the loft I've been rereading Women Who Run With Wolves so yeah I would love just giving myself the time and space to read a book and drink my tea and you know sometimes at home my partner and I don't go to sleep at the same time and I really like that because I really like that we are respecting what each of us needs every night instead of like pushing one of our agendas and be like let's go to bed early or let's both stay up until night and that also makes it wonderful when we come together and do something together at night which feels very genuine because we are not like forcing the other one to do it and even though I'm reading both Women Who Run With Wolves and Entangled Life, I'm also um, listening to this audiobook, which I already mentioned, uh, Braiding Sweetgrass. And there is this wonderful quote, well, this wonderful part of the book that I listened to a few days ago that really resonated with me and with every, everything going on in the US right now. So maybe this is something that resonates with you. Once again, the book is called Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. I don't know if I'm saying her last name correctly. And it says, I love my country too, and its hopes for freedom and justice. But the boundaries of what I honor are bigger than the Republic. Let us pledge reciprocity with the living world. The Thanksgiving Address describes our mutual allegiance as human delegates to the democracy of species. If what we want for our people is patriotism, then let us inspire true love of country by invoking the land herself. If we want to raise good leaders, let us remind our children of the eagle and the maple. If we want to grow good citizens, then let us teach reciprocity. If what we aspire to is justice for all, then let it be justice for all of creation. I felt this was very, very powerful to be reminded by nowadays. And this is something that we've also been discussing in the Cacao Virtual Circle that I am I'm a part of. We were talking about how it is more important than ever, just like what Krishna does, what's was saying about not falling ourselves apart. How when the world outside doesn't feel connected at all at this like more spiritual part of ourselves and connection with nature and slowing down and our natural rhythms and everything that I share on this channel and in my life um, about it just feels like a different world. I feel that the best and the most important thing for us to do right now is not to let the aspect of the outer world bring us down but on the other hand really remind ourselves daily that energy is a ripple effect and if we are really connecting into these energies and we are embodying this energy that we talk a lot about and we really want to manifest these into reality and be reflected in whoever takes power and all these big massive things i feel it's so so important for us to remember that if we keep on believing and doing and trusting and loving, the ripple effect can take so much more space and effect than what we think it can do. So that's one of the main reasons why I really, really love this quote from Braiding Sweetgrass. And yeah, I... I love just 
how powerful it can be to take the time to read a book like this or take the time to journal and really connect to what is it that I want my life to look like and what is it that I want to embody and I don't know I feel that sometimes just writing things down is already one step towards manifesting it in reality but also I feel that it really makes me feel positive and optimistic of life um, because if I'm just like consuming information all the time I feel there is no real space for me to remember that I'm here living and here being able to be grateful for what I have for my body for the opportunities for my friends for the world for love for this human experience for all of it and yeah I feel that's one of the main reasons why for me it's so important and it inspires me to share with you it's because I don't know, just giving ourselves this time to reconnect with our own natural rhythms, to understand what we want to see in the world, to dream, is, is already a game changer. And it's not the only thing, it's not like the world will change if we do like nighttime routines, but in a way it will change. Of course there's a lot more than we need to do in our day to day, but just giving ourselves the time to be grateful is already such a powerful thing. Drinking a tea and taking deep breaths and being thankful. I'm very talkative today. <laughs> The very last few things that I love doing right before bed is what I do every night is I always moisturize my feet. My feet are very, very, very dry. I can really tell the difference the next day. And I've been using these um, Salve by Fat and the Moon. And I have these resting uh, body cream that is already almost empty so whenever I give myself the space and the time I love just doing some belly massages but yeah giving myself some belly massages really helps and I also have this beautiful um, this beautiful oil by a Peruvian brand called Cametza it's a it's from their Linea Relajante so their relaxing line and I love just putting some of these here as well as on my temples and I'm very big on smells I love just like putting some smells in order to set up the mood, the mood for the night and also for the day for waking up I love using some grapefruit, grapefruit some grapefruit oil and for night this is lavender a little lemongrass which smells amazing and you have the time or whenever I have the time I love lighting up some candles and also when my partner and I go to bed at different times I love well pretty much every night I love using these face like eye mask or I don't even know how it's called but I love just like sleeping with these on I feel so so much more relaxed than I feel just like with the tea and with a shower it really makes me able to just like dive deeper into the dream world I love keeping a journal journal next to my bed in order to be able to write my dreams as soon as I wake up and just like we prepare ourselves in the morning to have our waking life I love preparing myself at night for the dream world and I just ask myself how am I getting ready to rest? How am I getting ready to go into the dream world? I feel it's really inviting and really wonderful to be able to give ourselves the permission to prepare for the dream world and whenever I'm able to just really spend some time slowing down at night I feel that I'm more happy, positive, um, and I don't know, the next day just feels like more wonderful and something that I really want to tap into and just like, it makes me feel happier and it makes me feel more empowered. 
So I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. I hope you're able to give yourself some time. I hope you're able to have some time for yourself before going to bed and really preparing for the night and also preparing for tomorrow. I feel that a good day starts the night before. That's something that someone, I don't know where, said, but it's in my experience so, so, so true. Thank you so much for sharing your time, your energy and your space with me. Thank you for respecting, trusting and just being here with me if you made it all the way to the end of this video. I would love to hear some of your night routines. So please feel free to share them with me and with all the rest of this beautiful virtual family on the comments below. I hope you have a great night and an amazing time in the dream world. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to follow me on Instagram where I also post pretty often. So bye, good night.